What's up guys and welcome back to the Keep It Techie channel where we dive deep into the world of Linux, offering tips, tutorials, and tech guides to help you navigate the ever expanding tech field. I'm Josh and today we're exploring something exciting for all you Linux enthusiasts out there. And that's the latest release of Nitrix version 3.4. Let's get to it. Now, if you're asking what's Nitrix, or maybe you're a veteran Linux user and waiting to see what's new, well, you're in the right place. Cause I wanted to break down everything you need to know about this release, why it matters, and how you can get it running on your machine. So let's hop over to the website right fast so we can go through everything about Nitrix. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm at index.org that is Nitrix website. And if we scroll down a little bit, I just wanted to show you guys, here is the latest release. Like I said, it's that Nitrix 3.4.0. And here's the release announcement. I wanted to go over there right fast so you guys can see more about Nitrix. Now, Nitrix has always been a standout in the Linux universe, known for its Debian roots, staying clear of system D, which I know a lot of people like, and its immutable nature, all while embracing the sleek, KDE software. And guess what? The developer and the Nitrix team have just upped the ante with the release of Nitrix 3.4, continuing their tradition of monthly updates with some juicy additions and significant changes. For starters, Nitrix 3.4 is cozying up with KDE Plasma 5.27.10 LTS as its desktop environment of choice. And here's a bit of news that might surprise you. This will remain the case throughout 2024 until a major shift to the Maui shell is made. Because Nitrix is taking a bold step away from the KDE Plasma we've grown accustomed to in favor for something they've been cooking up in-house. But don't worry, KDE isn't going out the window entirely. The Nitrix guys have plans to keep KDE technology in a loop, ensuring that the transition is as smooth as possible. And let's scroll down a little bit. I wanted to show you guys that it, it is using 5.27.10. And you're probably wondering why they're sticking with that version. Well, it turns out their custom NX desktop is quite the widget and plasmoid hoarder. And jumping to KDE Plasma 6 right now would be like fitting a square peg into a round hole. They're playing the long game, focusing on protecting the Maui share and their suite of Maui apps for a seamless user experience. And while reading through these release notes, there's a lot more, for instance, a uh, fresh Linux kernel, an updated Firefox, and enhancements to the Nitrix update tool system that NVIDIA users will appreciate. Not to mention a beefed up NX desktop config utility and a custom page add-on for Plasma System Monitor app to keep tabs on your CPU's vitals. Now, let me show you guys how to get it right fast. Uh, you can read more through these release notes so you can get more information. And I believe the last time I looked at Nitrix was 2021. So this is all new to me as well as far as just looking at all the different changes. So let's go back to the homepage, but all you have to do is hit download here and that will download download that latest version for you. And so let me hop over to my virtual machine so I can walk you guys through the install. All right, so I'm booted up into the live ISO. Let's go on and get through the install. All you have to do is click the link right here on the desktop. That is the installation script. And it'll open up the installer for us and we can run through it right fast. And it's super simple, nice looking installer. You know, it's very easy. As you can see, the steps down here at the bottom, it's pretty, pretty simple. And so the first thing we wanna do is select our language. We can go in here. It automatically defaults to American English. So we're good to go. We, all we have to do is hit next there. And then we can set up our location, which we're in America and then look for Los Angeles. 
and this thing here boy is going haywire with my mouse hold on one second let's see if i can get to it all right cool so we got that selected our location hit next keyboard layout i'm gonna just roll with the def let's type our name in right fast so josh my user account and then what is the name of the computer and we can name it nitrix and let's go down and set our password i'm gonna just name it nitrix and nitrix type it in twice and then let's type in our root account password as well so i'm gonna, I'm gonna name that nitrix as well and it should matter nitrix and then right here there are some additional user configuration options that you can set this basically enables password strength validation and you can turn that on off it'll basically allows the system to check the password to verify that it's not weak essentially and i'm gonna unselect it we don't need it let's hit next there and now we can set up our drives it defaults to manual partitioning but i'm gonna just use the erase disk and get it to automatically configure the operating system as you can see it's a breakdown of what it'll be afterwards and then you can also set up swap we'll just swap the file that's fine this is the current partition or unpartitioned space and then this is what it'll be after and you can also encrypt by hitting this radio button that'll allow you to type in a passphrase to encrypt your hard drive on your system i'm gonna uncheck that we don't need it and then this will default to the bootloader location or to the only drive that you have on the system if you're installing this on physical hardware you want to make sure you have the right drives in there or you're selecting the right drives if you have more than one drive just want to let you know so let's go down and hit next and here is our summary this breaks down everything that it's going to do it's got our location keyboard partition information and all we have to do is hit install and wait and so boom let's go down and hit the install and that'll go through the process and i'll be back when it finishes all right so as you can see the installation is complete let's go down and hit done now you gotta do is reboot from here and you're good to go so i'll be back when it comes up all right so we have our freshly new installed copy of nitrix and let's just quickly go through a few things on here uh, i'm not gonna go through too much but the dock down here at the bottom is where most of your options are uh, like for instance to get to all the software you just hit this next kind of start menu you click there that will open up all of our applications and you can go through check it out for yourself you know what i'm saying i don't want to go too deep into it but let's look at the version of firefox that comes with it and i'm 100 percent sure it should come with that 120.0 and so let's just check it out right fast and make sure let's go into help file firefox 124.0 okay that's good let's go down and close that right fast and one of the first things you want to do is update your system that way you can get all the updated software because not all the software is updated and a lot of times when these isos are released it's kind of like statically released as far as the iso it comes with the software on there and it'll update during the installation process depending on the distro but sometimes there's still some more updates that need to happen on the system and let's go down and check out the kernel right fast so let's open up the terminal and verify the kernel version right fast and let's use the uname command dash a let's check it out right fast so we got 6.7.11 so it's good to go right there and that's one thing i like about nitrix this terminal you know i've been playing around with it for about a week now and i really like this terminal the way it looks with the tabs and all that stuff and so let's go ahead and close that out as well and then software most people want to know you know how you install software on the system you can go up in here in the software center it's right there on like i said most everything is on the dock right at the bottom so this is the nix software center so got your categories over here and you can go through you can search you can look for whatever software you're looking for and get it installed from there and just to show you a few of the categories let's go up in here this is the programming category so it'll fetch all the software that's dealing with like programming we can go back oh and under there you got other tabs so database like this is programming specifically these are the subcategories so database ides developer apps you know all that good stuff right under that programming category and then you can go to system tools and i'm like i said it's it's super cool the way this thing is set up with the subcategories and you can filter out what you want to see like if you're looking for something specific like iot networking file management you know what i'm saying it's broken up in those subcategories that makes it easier to find the software that you're looking for 
which is super cool. Now let's go into the system settings. Let's hit the X up there. I'm gonna just go this way. Let's see, we can just hit configure desktop. We can go back and it'll take us to the main system settings. Uh, and you can go through here, you know, and make all the changes you want with the system. Let's go to the about this system so you guys can see that it does come with KDE Plasma version 5.27.10. And then the framework 5.107.0. QT version 5.15.10 and we already looked at the kernel version and then also graphics platform is Wayland so just so you guys know and then just my virtual hardware for this system that I used to create it but that's pretty much it all I wanted to show you guys on the system if you've been using Linux for any amount of time you understand how KDE works most likely you've played around with the platform but it's an awesome platform or a desktop environment that I think you guys should definitely check out and there you have it you're now equipped with the latest Nitrix 3.4 ready to explore all the new features and improvements so whether you're a Linux pro like me or a new Nitrix 3.4 has something for everyone uh, blending tradition with innovation in a package that's both familiar and excitingly new. Now remember, transitioning to a new distro or even just an update can seem daunting, but it's all part of the adventure of playing around with Linux. I really love it, man. It's super cool. And if you run into any problems or have any questions, don't hesitate to drop a comment down below because the Keep It Techie community is all about helping each other out and sharing our tech journey. Now, if you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Keep It Techie channel for more Linux tips, tutorials, tech talks, and all that good stuff. I'm Josh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it techie.